Hello, thank you for looking at my video. Today I'm going to be showing photo cards. The only stuff I have today is Lucembal, Billy, and XH. So let's get into it. Lucembal announced a comeback, which to be honest, I didn't expect like at all. When they announced their tour, I thought that they would just be promoting their earlier comeback this year, one of a kind on tour. I didn't realize they would have like a new comeback to go along with it. So I was very surprised, but I'm very excited. The comeback actually has the least amount of album cards for any Lucembal album so far. I do have a couple album cards today. I have the other two QR cards I was missing for one of a kind. I bought these Ever Music albums, obviously, and I unboxed them at a White Sox game. My friend Aiden said that she thought it'd be funny to, if I did it. And so I did it and I, I it is funny. <laughs> I'm really excited to edit it. It was actually a great game. I made an edit. It's on my Instagram if you wanna take a peek. But okay, that is all I had for album cards. I put all the pages in, but I don't have any fillers. So I didn't do anything with that. I do have another set of one of a kind cards. I have these two, like blowing kisses card. I also have the hedgy one of this, but she lives in a top loader. So. Cute first page of one of a kind done. And then I have the other members fan club stuff that I didn't have before. And I also have all of their IDs, which I didn't know I would have. I really like these cards. I really like this whole concept they did for the fan kit. Uh, what is going on with me today? <laughs> Yeah, I thought the fan kit concept was really cute. I really liked it. And I generally like space themed things just as a whole. So it was right up my alley. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put the IDs back here for now. Maybe if they do another like weird, small non-photo card inclusion and I get OT5 at some point, I can put it on this page with the IDs. But for now, they're just gonna be alone. I just cut white paper for these two. I didn't cut any like spaces for the IDs because these pages and the sleeves I use are pretty snug. So I don't think they're gonna move around too much, but yeah. I also moved some things around. So I put this filler in between my other three member POV sets. And then I also put these from the fan club kit in here because they're beautiful. And then my other Luna member post Luna pages are back here. This is like everything I loosely have set up so far. Yeah, this is very chill. Just like kind of when I get my hands on cards. So that's the little section to this binder. I liked having all of the, or I wanted to try having all of the like Luna, Lucemble, and then everything else kind of miscellaneous at the back. And I think it looks great. Let's do Billy next. Okay, I might have to go get another page. Uh, I do, okay. I have her attendance card from the fan con and then I have this trading card. I'm gonna leave a space for the light stick card there. And then I don't have all the trading cards secured, but I think I'm only missing one. So I'm just gonna start them down here and just That's my cat. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be all of the like fan con stuff from recently. I might create a little page for it or I might start the next era on this page. I don't know, 
but I guess I probably should create a little page for it, right? Because it kind of is like this stuff, which is just kind of different. You know, like it doesn't really fit in with an era. I feel like this is the same. But anyways, those are the only cards I had. I have the other tin case cards on the way with more GWSN cards, actually. So this binder, we'll get to see some love soon. Okay, now let's move on to the last group of this video, Xenary Heroes. I'm serious. Xenary Heroes, like, healed me. Like, I'm being 100% serious. Since I saw them, I feel like my music taste just got a lot better. I mean that, like, for me, I guess I feel like my personal taste has gotten a lot better because I am exclusively listening to Radiohead again. It's like it's, I don't know, like I'm in high school again. I was like a full-time, like full-time, the only thing I listened to for like five years of my life was Radiohead. And then, I don't know, I just haven't listened to them that much recently. But ever since coming back from this trip, I just can't stop listening to Radiohead. Oh. <laughs> I forgot this was in here. I had this in here to try and flatten the pages. That's so funny. Isn't this sticker cute though? And Jungsoo and Jiyeon, obviously. I'm reading War and Peace. Yeah, my taste is really annoying. I think that's the thesis of my statement there. I have really annoying taste right now. <laughs> I have a single Hello World card. I think it's this one. Okay. I have changed some things, so I'll just flip through every page and then you'll notice what's different if you remembered, I guess. I do have one Overture card. I have this Pola. Cute. And then I have, oh, okay. I have some stuff for Deadlock. I created a new page back here because I was organizing my non-album Jungsu stuff. I got a bunch of it in the mail recently. Or like I got some random cards in the mail recently and I was just organizing everything. And I realized that I had all the cards in these outfits, like just on hand. So I decided to collect them for Jujon as well. I think the only one I'm missing, I don't think I have Soundwave for Jujon, but I'm pretty sure I have everything else. Um, and what is what? I think these two are the Music Plant Lucky Draws. Um, this might be Apple Music. That might be Soundwave. If they're wrong, then it's on screen. Next, I have the... Oh my gosh, I didn't make a page for this. I have the Deadlock MD Collect Book, and I got the photo card set for OT6. So I'm gonna store it. I really love when merch comes with full photo card sets. If it only comes with one member, I'm honestly a lot less inclined to buy something. Just because like, yeah, I could buy it in trade for my bias, but I feel like, I don't know. I feel like a merch set, set just should have full group cards. And this Gian is so cute. Oh my god, I I was talking about Radiohead earlier, looking at my XH binder. A Juyoung covered creep. Nothing has ever, like quite literally, nothing has ever been more specifically for me ever in my life. Like not only did they go to a baseball game this past month, but then he did that. Like, <laughs> okay. I think I tweeted and deleted something about Tom York and Juyeon. And like, I know that I talk about a lot of random men here on this channel, especially because I'm obsessed with baseball, but like, I am obsessed with Tom York. That's kind of my guy. But Juyeon covered creep. I woke up to it. It was the best thing that ever happened to me. Day three's cover was my favorite. Like the spirit of Tom York was in the building. Tom York was in the building and I smiled. So thank you, Juyan, so much. I love you. Okay, I'm being delusional. I have Junon's online pob for summer camp. And let me use that filler. Okay, perfect. This set is really cute. 
Okay, and then I also have the Summer Camp Photo Card Holder set. I really love this set because I love the clear cards. Yeah, so cute. I don't think I have any OT6 sets for the closed beta concerts they've done. I definitely don't. Yeah, I definitely don't. And I do really like the setup I have. I'll show you once we get to that section. But I kind of changed how I set everything up because they announced another one, which I guess I could have predicted, but I I don't know why that surprised me too. <laughs> um, do you mind if you're watching Cover Black Star by Radiohead at that one? Peace and love. Okay, the next stuff I have is all troubleshooting. I don't think I changed any of this, but I'll flip through it just in case. Great. I bought his Nemo version, so I have the QR for that. And then, okay. I organized everything already. These Nemo cards are literally some of the best cards of all time. I have wanted this, this card for so long. I think it's so funny. I almost bought it, like just this card on Poke Market because I wanted it so bad. I thought it was hysterical, but I resisted. And now I'm happy I did because I needed the full set. And it definitely was much cheaper to buy the whole album than try and like find the cards individually. But for this page, we have the selfies and this close-up card. This page is very iconic, but this page is like extremely iconic. These, these, like they're so cute. And then, <laughs> I just love this card. I think it's so funny. And they all kind of have the same expression. This page is so funny. I love this page. These three cards. It is funny. Janon's, like these are kind of similar. This one stands out the most. And it's the same for the next page too. Like the odd one out card is Janon's. Even with like the background. This card is so cute. But like these two are kind of sideways and like look very similar. And then this. You know what this looks like? This looks like an only one of card. This looks like an only one of card. But like, it's just so different. I don't know. I love this card. He's just standing there. So cute. So cute. Okay. Um, closed beta. There are five cards for every closed beta or have been up to this point. And then there's also the light stick pouch card set. So I have a top three page here with the pouch cards, the 6.1 diary and the 6.0 diary, of which I have these two. And then I also have Gion's 6.1 diary. Yeah. I'm putting it in the middle because this outfit is different. I guess I could switch these because the pouch can go on the bottom and that way it would be in chronological order. I've been working, like changing things up in this binder almost daily for like a month now, or like just with my XH collection in general. I really like collecting them. I find that they're a good medium ground, like difficulty and price group to collect. I don't know, at least for me, I feel like that is the case. They're not like a super new goo boy group or even like Omega X where it's like, if you just don't buy it when the card is released, you're just never gonna find it again. That's not the case with XH. And I definitely prefer collecting groups like that, even though I am also just buying yet certain cards whenever they get released. So I don't really have that problem. <laughs> so this is the closed beta 6.0 attendance and benefit and then 6.1 attendance and benefit. And then for the other pages, 6.2, 6.3, and 6.4 attendance cards will go on this page, assuming there's three, which there are 
for two and three because they already happened. I kind of just set this up for 6.4, assuming that it would be the same as it was in the past. But if they add something more, then I'll figure it out again, but whatever. So this is the attendance card page. And then all the benefit and diary cards will go on this page. And I think that that is so cute and works out so well. So I'm really excited for this page. The VIP cards and then my random Juyon stuff. Why did I not fix this? I love this card. I don't have either of the Juyon Lucky Draws from this set. I really just bought that one Jungsoo and I was like, whatever. But <laughs> I kind of want them now. I think those are the only cards I'm missing for troubleshooting in terms of pobs. I'm pretty sure I have everything else secured, which is kind of crazy. But I have this attendance card and it's so cute so my little cutesy jungsu page and that's all i had to store away today thank you as always for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it go white socks and i will see you next time bye <laughs>